Okay, folks, we just want to let you know we do not hate the church. It is 10 23. We would like everybody to know that this church, we know it's a pro life church, but what does that look like? The pro life movement regulates when, where, and how you can murder babies. We believe that it's wrong to murder babies, and Pat Fallon, your representative of Texas that goes to this church, actually stopped the bill, helped work to stop a bill to make abortion illegal in Texas. We should make abortion illegal in Texas. Pat Fallon and your pastor, the pastor of Denton Church, does not want to make abortion illegal. They want to be pro-life. Pro-life again regulates when, where, and how we murder babies. We ask you to stop being pro-life. We ask you to help make abortion illegal. Stop being apathetic. What does Christianity look like in a town, in a state where child sacrifice is the number one cause of death? Woe to you who make iniquitous decrees. Woe to you pastors and elders and Pat Fallon, state representatives. Denton Bible Church, we ask you to repent of your apathy. Repent of ignoring orphans in this state. We have over 30,000 churches in this state. We have 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted. But nobody wants them because, why? Because they're not babies. We'll do IVF, we'll spend 30 grand adopting kids from China, Korea. Why don't we adopt the 13,000 kids we have waiting to be adopted in Texas? Why? Because we don't want eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds and ten-year-olds and twelve-year-olds. We want babies. Woe to you men who stand at the gates and ignore child sacrifice in the land. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. 60,000 babies are murdered every year in Texas. What does Christianity look like in a state where child sacrifice is the number one cause of death? You who sit in these nice churches, in these nice homes, that live these beautiful lives, ignore those who are being led to slaughter. Woe to you who grow fat in the day of slaughter. Woe to you people like you, Pat Fallon, who make iniquitous decrees, who work, who work only to regulate abortion, to say when, where, and how you can murder babies. Woe to you people! Repent of your apathy. Whatever you did not do to the least of these, you did to Jesus. Kids, ask your parents why they do not oppose and work to make abortion illegal. Why is this legal? Why can we murder babies and men stand around and do nothing about it? Woe to you whitewashed tombs. Repent. The Bible is talking about men and women like you who do not stand up and oppose the murder of children, of orphans. Wicked and evil are you who do not defend the least of us, who do not care for widows and orphans. The number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. What does your Christianity look like in a state where child sacrifice is the number one cause of death? How do we ignore the kids in foster care that are waiting to be adopted? 13,000 kids in foster care in Texas waiting to be adopted and we as a culture ignore them. Why? Because they're not babies. We do not adopt kids because we want larger families. We adopt kids because Christ calls us to take care of them. They need loving homes. The Christians right now are not the ones adopting these foster kids. It is the gays and lesbians who are adopting them. If you've ever sat in a foster care class, you will see 
that it's filled with gay and lesbian people trying to adopt kids. We have over 30,000 churches in Texas, over 30,000 Bible-based believing churches in Texas, over 70,000 pastors. Why do we ignore the orphans? Why do we not adopt them in Texas? Because our lips speak good things, but our hearts are far from God. Children, ask your parents why do they not try to make abortion illegal in Texas? Why are they pro-life? Which means they regulate how, where, and when they can murder babies. Let us stop being pro-life and let us be abolitionists. Texas used to be a slave state. The fine people who went to church every Sunday in Texas used to own slaves. They did not oppose slavery. It took a war to end slavery in Texas. Let it not take a war to end child sacrifice. Abolitionists in Texas are calling the people to repent of their apathy. Let us not face judgment for ignoring the least of us. Woe to you men who make iniquitous decrees, who do not defend the innocent, who ignore the slaughter of children. Woe to you men who stand at the gates and are apathetic and do not care. What does your Christianity look like in a state that ignores child sacrifice? We do not want to be pro-life. We want to abolish abortion, just like we abolish slavery. We do not want to regulate slavery. We want to abolish slavery. One out of three women who go to this church have had an abortion. They need our Christ to redeem them, to restore them, to get them to speak out and have fruit worthy of their repentance. Let us not ignore abortion. Pat Fallon, our state representative, goes to this church and he worked to table a bill that would make abortion illegal. Woe to you, sir, who regulate abortion, who work to regulate abortion, who make iniquitous degrees. Woe to you. Amos 5 talks about a culture of people who followed God but ignored child sacrifice. In Amos 5 it says, though your prayers be many, I will not hear them. I will not answer them. I hate your festivals and your meetings. First bring justice to the land and then I will hear your prayers. In Amos 5, God had a people who ignored child sacrifice, who took part of child sacrifice. We know you are a pro-life church and we're calling you to repent. We're calling the pastor to repent and we're calling Pat Fallon, the state representative who goes to this church to repent. Woe to you who make iniquitous decrees, the Bible says. Pat Fallon worked to table a bill that would have made abortion illegal in Texas. And your pastor's fine with that. You guys should kick Pat Fallon out of your church. You should tell him he's a wicked and evil man for opposing making abortion illegal. We should make abortion illegal in this land and stop regulating it. I know, don't bend it. It's okay. We do not hate the church. We are part of the church, the bride of Christ. But listen, your salt has grown saltless. Your light has been put out. We live in a culture where the number one cause of death is child sacrifice. How can that be? How can we have churches on every corner? How can we have cowboys like this man right here who does a great job in the church parking lot ministry? Meanwhile, the number one cause of death in this town is child sacrifice, is murder. Hey Matt, what time does the next service start?
to you who make in iniquitous decrees. Woe to you. People who are pro-life regulate abortion. They say when, where, and how you can murder babies. They make iniquitous decrees such as when a baby has a heartbeat, when, when a baby can feel pain. Those are wicked and evil de decrees. They're not biblical. Pro-lifers, stop sinning. Stop. Please stop regulating abortion. Stop saying when, where, and how we can kill babies, but abolish it. Let's make it illegal. What does Christianity look like in a state where child sacrifice is the number one cause of death? What does it look like? How can we be apathetic and ignore child sacrifice? Or look at this. Look at all the orphans we have in foster care waiting to be adopted. And why does everybody ignore them? The child foster care system is evil, wicked. 13,000 kids are waiting to be adopted and the church is silent. We have over 30,000 churches in Texas. We could easily adopt the 13,000 kids that need to be adopted. We have over 70,000 Christian Bible-believing pastors in Texas. How can there be 13,000 orphans waiting to be adopted and we ignore them? How can the gays and lesbians adopt them, but the Christians are not adopting them? Repent of being pro-life. Stop regulating abortion. Let us make it illegal. Jesus said that if you, whatever you do to the least of these or don't do to the least of these, that's what you do to me. How can we have 13,000 kids in foster care and we ignore them? that are waiting to be adopted, but we don't adopt them. Where is your Christianity? Where is your cross? How do you... No, that's your Bible. That is your Bible. That's not your cross. Pick up your cross and do the work of Christ. You know if I come on, your church will arrest us. Why don't you come over here and talk to me? <laughs> Woe to you men who stand at the gates and ignore injustice. First, bring justice and mercy to the land. Christ says that He hates your prayers and your worship when you do not bring justice to the land, when you ignore orphans and widows. You go get my water. I'll tell you, go get my water, okay? It's sitting over there on the grass. Go get my water. Is this loud enough? Can you hear me? <laughs> Jesus Christ was the sacrifice. We no longer need to sacrifice our children. The number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. We have 13,000 kids in foster care right now waiting to be adopted. But we ignore them as a Christian culture. Over 70,000 pastors in Texas. Over 30,000 churches in Texas. How can we ignore these orphans? How do we go to church each Sunday? Sit in these beautiful multi-million dollar buildings. And ignore these kids rotting in foster care. Why are the gays and lesbians adopting them? You are guilty, sir. You are a man who's supposed to stand at the gates and defend women and children. You're supposed to promote good and biblical righteous laws and defend those. But instead, children are being led to the slaughter. How do we ignore this? How do we say we're Christians? <clears throat> the Bible says that your lips speak the truth. They speak rightly but your hearts are far from God. Repent of your apathy. Let us stop regulating abortion. Tell Pat Fallon that he needs to abolish abortion, make it illegal, and start up, stop opposing the law that would make it illegal. He actually helped table a law that would make abortion illegal in Texas. 
And your pastor is fine with that. He supports Pat Fallon. I guess it's cool to have Pat Fallon go to your church. Tell Pat Fallon to repent. Tell your pastor to repent. You guys, repent. The number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. How do we have 30,000 churches, 70,000 pastors, and 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them? How do we have 70,000 pastors and 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted? It's because we don't love God. We don't, or we would adopt these kids. What good is it to go to church every Sunday and not do what the Bible says? How does that happen? Why are the gays and lesbians adopting all these foster kids, but the Christians are ignoring them? How does that happen? We need to actually be Christian, not just play Christian. Men who stand at the gates need to defend these children. How you doing, sir? How you doing?